Hi everybody, welcome back to metatradertutorials.org and in this particular tutorial we're going to take a look at using line studies. Alright, so what are line studies, how do we access them, and how can they help our trading? Great questions, very in-depth questions, uh, and I'll try and do my best in order to help you guys out. So, one of the more popular line study tools out there is Fibonacci. Everybody uses Fibonacci. So, let me show you how to actually do that. Quick way, right along this bar here we have tools in order to draw certain things. So, if you click on this F button, it's the Fibonacci tool. Fibonacci, put it from a high, start up high and a low. Holy mackerel, that's hard to read. The default is yellow. What you can do is double click so you highlight that line. Then I right click, Fibo properties, and now I can change Fibo levels. See that in common. The style is red. That red style shows the line from point A to point B. I can change the Fibo levels. Yellow, brutal, can't see it. Let's do blue. Oh, there we go. Now we can see what's going on here. Okay. So one of the things to keep in mind, depends on how you draw your Fibonacci. Either you go from high to low, low to high. In this particular case, we want to go, actually I should have started from the low and going high to see how it decreases here. So let me draw this, redo it. Fibonacci tool, swing low or swing high, there we go. So, I'm looking at these two points here to see where I anticipate, and sure enough, there we go, hit the 161. So this is the high point, this is my A, this is my B point, and I can see the retracement. There we go, and it shows a 38.2, there's my C, based on where I think it's going to go down, and sure enough, it drops right down very close, in fact, it passes, pushes past a little bit, the 161.8. There you go guys, that's just one way of, of using Fibonacci, how to put it on fairly quickly. And if I want to get rid of it, double click, hard to see here, but see the little red box on the lines up here. Now that I've selected it, I can delete it. If you go to the, uh, the top menu, you have insert, we have lines, channels, your GAN lines, the fan, the grid, Fibonacci, different retracement, time zones, fans, arc expansions, whatever tickles your fancy. It's your preferred style for using in order to, uh, using uh, these lines in order to make a decision. Go ahead. So one of the things that I want to talk about in terms of additional line studies is trend lines. Again, practically everybody uses trend lines. A couple ways you can do it. You can select it here, or I can select it from this menu. So let me select it from here, connect some lines, uh, there we go. So notice how this line goes in perpetuity, it goes on and on and on. I can either select it to, to do that or have it over a fixed period. So double click to select the line, then I right click, trend line properties, I go to parameters, and right now it's clicked on as Ray. If I uncheck that, there you go. It'll only give me the, the trend line over the specific number of bars that, I, that I've chosen. If I bring it down, there we go. To get it back, now that it's so selected, because you see the boxes on the different points of the line, right click, trend line properties, back to Ray, there we go. You can see the trend line comes down. And look at that, we have a bounce off this, uh, this trend line. All right, guys, that's where we access the different lines. What you can do, and you can, there's a whole pile of ones there. Depends what you feel most comfortable with. You can play around with them and apply them on your charts. We'll see you in the next one. We talk about auto trading.